I never could rap. I never could. Did you try it? I tried. I sucked at it. <laughs>
At the time, it was Ratchet to us. It was a new generation. We was basically the trill young nigga off Bun B, Young Jeezy, all the trap music. Gotcha. And now they got a new generation of music off, and I, I, I had to I had to tell Bud, like, bro, we need to change the name, so we changed the trend set back. I like that, I like that. Yeah. What do you think about the new wave in Memphis? Because I know you're actually coming out with a Memphis edition of Trent yeah. Mag. What so, do you, you know, what do you think about the new wave? Um, I think it's awesome. Mm -hmm. I love it. Um, shout out the black youngster. He went to Hamilton, Moneybag, yo. I, I support trap music. Like, like I said, I'm from South Memphis. I never forget where I come from. But the thing I like about Memphis music now, I feel like there's more of a unity going on now. It Even is. though they say it's beef going on, say what you want, but I see the unity and the route that Memphis is going as far as nationwide. So I love what's going on right now as far as what's going on in Memphis, Tennessee. I mess with it. I mess with it. Yeah. So what would you say is the biggest difference between Memphis and Alabama musically? Um, the diversity. Diversity. In I Alabama or in Memphis? In Alabama. Okay. I love how diverse it is. Mm. But where I'm at Florence, Alabama, you can't really, really tell that it's any racism or anything going on because... It's nothing but positive vibes here. Like, they took me in. Like they took that. my ideal in for our trend set mag. So, once I see that people were supporting what I had going on, I had to give back by throwing a cool out corner, which is what I got going on right now. Now, are you planning on having more events in this location? Not just here in this location, but all through Alabama, and I got to come back home and do something in Memphis. Ooh. It's mandatory. It's mandatory, yeah. A little exclusive, a little, little hint. Okay. Look, a little something, a little something. I'm with that. <laughs> So when, when is the Memphis edition coming out? Um, the Memphis edition is dropping in two weeks. Ooh. Um, not only you're in the next, edi um, next edition, which is um, the summer issue, but you're in the back to school Memphis edition also. So I had to pay homage to SSM TV, but <laughs> we paying a lot of homage, a lot of props, and giving a lot of props to a lot of people from Memphis by featuring them in the Memphis issue of the magazine, a trend set mag. I hope y'all like it because we really putting our blood, heart, sweat, and tears into this I next know. issue. Oh, I've heard. I'm putting on for the city, man. I got to, man. So tell us about the vision with Trent and Meg. Where do you see it going in 10 years? Um, For one, it's not about the money. <laughs> I have to make sure that I address that with their question. But it's all about putting out positive content. With me doing a lot of humanitarian work, counseling kids, and just being a positive role model to the community, I want to feature nothing but positive content in Trendset Magazine. So that's why I feel like we bring it to the table. That lane that Martin Luther King filled in, Huey Newton, Marcus Garvey, I want to fill in that lane, but with another taste, with that hip hop vibe to it, by bringing out nothing but positive content without the negative gossip. So that's why I feel like we bring a difference to the table, man, okay. by just promoting nothing but positivity. I like Nothing but positivity. And you know, that's so different because most magazines, I mean, it's, it's gossip. I'm not going to lie, it's a lot of gossip. Man. Yeah, yeah. It's too much. I feel like today's generation, they need something that's comforting and loving. Mm -hmm. And we want to promote nothing but the peace of love. I mean, the message of love, period. So hopefully Trendset Mag will blast off with us putting out nothing but things that's positive. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So where can people find you at on all social media? For those who may not know about you guys yet. I just made a Snapchat. Y'all work with me on Snapchat because I got an old school mindset. I'm 27, but I got a 40-year-old mind. Um, Follow me at Martin Luther King dash X. That's Martin Luther uh, dash X at Snapchat, Instagram. Follow us at trendset.mag. And the rest is history. If you follow me, I'm going to follow you back. Show love and pay homage. Give out shout outs. Don't be, don't be surprised if you even be featured in my magazine also if you're dope. So that's trendset.mag and Martin Luther King dash X. And I can go from there trying to follow you up on anything that you follow me on. Don't get it twisted neither. Remember that guy. Okay. <laughs> now, I, we didn't have enough time to play a game, but I'm going to see, I'm going to test your creativity for like a, a quick second. You test have 30, I'm going to test your creativity. Okay, okay. So you have, I would have gave you a piece of paper, but I got it. Oh, you cool, so you cool. you have 30 seconds to make up any kind of story about Lil Black Boy. Lil Black Boy. Um, ooh, that's a hard one. I'm going to give you five, ten seconds to think of. It can be anything. Just, a story. Just flow with it for 30 with me, seconds. My own story. It can be anything. You know, okay. it can be you, a superhero, little boy, anybody. Okay. Okay, the story of a little black boy. You got a black young man from Memphis, Tennessee. I hope I'm doing this right. You're doing Black right. young man from Memphis, Tennessee, 
straight out of South Memphis. They got a dream and a vision. This little black boy had so much on his mind to the point that it haunts him at night. So what he did was create a magazine from South Memphis and moved to another location and it blew up from there. This little black boy got a lot of ambition, got a lot of drive and a lot of hustle. And that's why he's gonna be tremendously humble and blessed at the end of the day. Little hey. black boy. I see, I see autobiography. <laughs> Make sure to follow him. Make sure to like and subscribe to the page. Also, like, go ahead and like that button right there. Subscribe to our YouTube. Make sure to follow social stats and media. Catch us next time. Die about it. Tell me what you lie about it. They doubt about it.